Okay, what is going on everybody? Today, I wanna show you how you can use the Bluetooth capabilities on the Unity 6 to go ahead and um, play tracks, control Ableton, and also receive MIDI information from Ableton um, right here on the Unity 6. All Bluetooth, no dongles added, and no USB cables added. So I'll throw up a quick uh, iPhone video of my setup. You can see my computer is over there. And then we're running here at the desk, uh, shooting everything. Uh, so it is connected to my computer and then I'm using my iPad here just for screen share. So let's go ahead and set up our connection here. So we've got our MIDI studio and this is the, and this is, I'm using a Mac. And again, this is just screen share, screen share on my iPad, but this is the audio MIDI setup. And then we come down here and look for Bluetooth connections. And you'll see that the Jet Unity 6 will be scanned and found. And then all you do is hit connect. And so now once that's connected, we will be sending MIDI information over, um, over Bluetooth to the computer. So if you can see on the top right of the screen share, as I hit any of the buttons, you'll see the MIDI information is being sent from the Unity 6 to, the, uh, to my Mac running Ableton. So how do we set that up? Let's. Let's see, we've got a couple of commands here. We have a play on the press, and then we have a stop on the long press, and then these are gonna be next and previous cues. So if we come over here to the to Ableton and we hit the MIDI cue, let's just hit the play button. And as soon as we hit play, you'll see that it was logged and tracked. We can also open our MIDI window here, see that I just assigned a CC25 to that. So now if we hit the stop button and do the long press, you're gonna see that it just tracked CC1. And then we can come over here and hit the next button, press next on the Unity 6, and previous, press previous on the Unity 6. And now everything is bound together so we can close that up. And then as you see, once we come through here and just hit the play button, you'll notice and hear through my microphone that the tracks are now playing. One, two, and So row. tracks play. We can also do a long press and the tracks stop. Uh, again, a short press will play those tracks and then hitting the next and previous will queue up all of these uh, cues that we have set in here. So jumping through the verse and chorus. So let's see what that One. looks like. And you'll also see that those will Entry. jump on the downbeat. Three. Four. So if we queue up the next intro right here, it jumps on the one beat. Verse. So we're jumping through by hitting the next cues. Chorus. And then we can also hit previous. Once the chorus starts, we can repeat back or jump to the next one. Okay, so another thing that the Unity 6 can do is it can receive Bluetooth via MIDI and then internally it'll uh, register that message and then it can send anything out via the five pin relay. So on the long press of Switch 3, we are calling up a couple of different presets on the Revelation and the Eternity and then we are also turning on uh, this tremolo here on the HX stomp. So in order to do that, let's add a MIDI track over here um, let's insert a MIDI track. And once that's inserted, we can move it up. And then right here, let's say at the bridge, we want to add that MIDI cue. So in my user library, I have already created some switch press commands. So down here, this is a switch three long press. So we'll bring that over, drag it up into the bridge and drop that in place. Okay, so now that that uh, switch press MIDI command has been inserted into a MIDI track. All we need to do is set the output. So the output needs to be set to the Jet Unity 6. You can see that is a Bluetooth connection. And then the Unity 6 here is set to receive MIDI messages on channel 16. So once we set all that up, we can start playing here. And then once the playhead reaches this MIDI queue, you'll keep an eye on the pedal board and you'll see everything uh, fire and relay out through the relay port. You will also see that the uh, scribble strip here will indicate a long press that it received a long press and you'll and all the messages will fire So let's play that track Keep an eye here and then here here 
and you'll see this all sync up one, one time. Boom, everything changed. And there you have it. So we're receiving MIDI over Bluetooth and relaying out to, the, to our board. So if you have multiple guitar players on stage, all you need to do is set your MIDI channels to different channels, so insert different MIDI tracks, set your channels to which each individual Unity 6 is running, and then you can cue and control your pedal board all from the tracks that are being set up by your MD on the weekend. So uh, that is how you run Bluetooth with Ableton. If you guys have any questions, don't hesitate to drop them in the comments down below. We'll see you guys later.